right, I think we are live, ladies and gentlemen. It is, what the hell day is it? Tuesday, April 9th, 7, 24 p.m. And the temperature right now is about 12 degrees Celsius and it is dropping fast. I see Mary W, Marge, Jerry L, Vivian, Gertej, Wesley, Aiden Thompson, and several others in the chat. Paul in Burlington says greetings from Burlington. Well, hopefully you can see me okay. Let me check the volume here. W, Marge, Jerry L, but greetings from Mississauga? What the hell am I doing in Mississauga? And what am I doing in front of what used to be Sheridan Mall. It's now Sherwood Village and Aaron Mills Parkway. Those are some very good questions and there will be answers to some of those questions coming up in a future video. Tonight won't be <laughs> the most interesting video in the world. We're just gonna go for a little walk around this area. I have not live streamed from Mississauga yet, but I did grow up kind of in this area. TravelFun69 says he just drove past me. Jeff, hope all is going well. I saw you made it up to Niagara Falls to stream the cloud eclipse yesterday. But this used to be Sheridan Mall. Eaton Sheridan Center at one point. There was a large Eaton's department store here. There was a Kmart, which later became a Zeller's. Now it's called Sherwood Village. And I just went through that mall in my video and it is bizarre. So we're gonna go south here. There's a plaza on the right I kinda wanna see because there's a Swiss LA I'd always go to as a kid. We'll see if that's still there. I could have just looked that up ahead of time, but. Yeah, then we're gonna spin around and I'm gonna head back north. Maybe, I think Fifth Line is just over to the right. Maybe we'll head north up Fifth Line. I have a friend who has like a work party dinner here tonight and they were like do you want a free ride to Mississauga and I was like no and then I thought about it and I was like okay so that explains my presence out here in suburbia this used to be a Kmart and that used to be an entrance to the mall apparently there's plans to build like 16 towers all around the shopping mall, it is absolutely gutted inside. My plan was to walk into the mall, see what was up and then go to the food court, but there is no food court. And just south of here is the Queen Elizabeth Expressway and south of that, Caramel's Parkway becomes Southbound Road. We're not going to be going that far. I have done a live stream before that started at Clarkson Go Station though. So we have streamed from that part of Mississauga. If you're wondering, this is the sixth largest city in the entire country. It is super duper suburban. I think there's plans to build a busway on Aaron Mills Parkway here. There was a keg. I don't know if it's still here, but I remember there being a keg just up here. On the left. We went there a few times when I was growing up. There's the plaza where the Swiss LA I used to go to back in the early 90s with my family it is located. The Van Mills Center. That's Van Mills Plaza. I guess we're in an area known as Van Mills. 
Greetings, Harjot. Cam, big up video. One block is like 10 blocks of Toronto. <laughs> this is very, very spread out. I'm curious what the Van Mill Center has to offer. Jesse Cohen is here. Greetings, Jesse and everyone else. Friendly reminder to like or dislike, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified when I go live next. All right, that guy putting on a bit of a singing show for us. I need to make my way up in the other direction, but I have my answer. There is the Swiss Chalet. The rest of that plaza not doing so well. A lot of vacant units in there. Some said go to Timmy's. <laughs> I ended up eating at McDonald's. That damn shopping mall doesn't have a food court. It was KFC, Taco Bell, or McDonald's. I went to the KFC Taco Bell. And there was someone taking all friggin' day to order. And the person taking their order was just as slow. So I said, screw this. I ordered from McDonald's or McDonald's from within the KFC. So there used to be a standalone Pizza Hut here. Now there's just a Pizza Hut in the plaza. And there used to be the keg. Wow. And there's a limousine, right? So someone said the square one area is nicer. It's denser, but I don't know if nice is the right word. I remember as a kid, always enjoying seeing all the limos out front. Good to see that's still a thing. And the sun is setting, so... Yeah, I don't think we're going to see much of anything on this live stream. But we'll poke around some suburban strodes. Jellybean says, hi, Johnny Cakes. That's Mr. Johnny Cakes to you. Simon's Gordon says, this year is the 40th anniversary of... 1984, 1984 of the Huggables, an American-Canadian children's concept of books, toys, comics, and animated series back in the 80s if they existed. Man, I don't recognize much of this. Got like a contrail from a plane overhead. All right, so I don't want to march straight up this part of Aaron Mills Town Center, <laughs> Aaron Mills Town Center, <clears throat> Aaron Mills Parkway. Because I have already done that. I said I was going to go to Fifth Line, but I think we can just kind of meander up here or over here and see what's up. When Guns N' Roses made the song Paradise City, is this what they were singing about? The grass is green. I don't know if the rest is true. Did I have a Big Mac? No, I had a quarter pounder with cheese. Bar Burrito is there. Sell Off Vacations, they actually have a physical unit or store. All right. We got some apartment buildings. I think this building is like a ring road that kind of goes around the mall. You can see 
a couple of like squiggly skyscrapers way up. I guess maybe the camera couldn't zoom in quite enough, but I assure you they're up there. This is Roach Court. Remember when you're walking around these parts, your right away isn't always your right away. Let the drivers go first. So these apartment buildings would have been here way back in my day. Gertej, there is a library in the mall. Yes, we're walking around the mall. I did speak to Ken. He said he would delay his premiere today. I was like, I might end up streaming when you're premiering. But holy cow, yesterday's eclipse video, I think it's up to like 250,000 views. Not too many people are re-watching it, but big, big thanks to everyone who tuned in yesterday. dude saying, have I seen the Marilyn Monroe building? I saw it from the car earlier. We took a lift from Kipling Station and it just booted all along Dundas. There are more interesting parts of Dundas, particularly over around her Ontario. This was certainly an odd route. Let's go around a shopping mall. Deb is here. Greetings, Deb. Someone's hanging their bikes over their balconies. take a peek at Google Maps here. All right, I've hatched a plan. This is North Sheridan Way here, but we're gonna explore some residential suburbia while we still have daylight. Apparently there's a street called Robin Drive just up ahead we can check out there's the back side of the mall it's all kind of offices this used to be an Eaton's department store back here Jason says the most boring of walks. Yeah, you don't see any other pedestrians out here. Oh, there's the library branch. You could literally make this a drinking game. If you see a pedestrian have a shot. But we're gonna go right here. and get a taste of suburban life. Which mall is that? East Mall? East Mall is over in Etobicoke. So we are on Knight's Court. This was not on my bingo card when I woke up.
football highlights says they just saw me <laughs> walk past. That would be crazy. Apparently Jeff from Travel Fun 69 was just up here. Let's see what some of the homes are like. Well, we still have some daylight. If I were to hand pick an area in Mississauga, it would be Mississauga Road just north of the QEW. And there's one street there called Dalton Drive that bears a resemblance to the bridle path. It was just big mega mansions. I'll have to go there at some point. Plugged in Tesla. Alfred said it looks it looks like a nice suburban neighborhood. Like nice Just checking the audio. I must be going to visit someone in this hood. No, I'm just waiting for someone to finish their work event. Now, where the hell am I going? This is Seven Oaks Drive. Yeah, real suburbia. Robert says it's the kind of neighborhood I should want to be in quiet when no one bothers me. each their own, but I'll hardcore pass on this. Wow, these homes are quite lovely though. Flamey says to think these homes used to be worth 250k. Greetings, hidden jackpots. Dwayne says greetings from Edmonton. And we've come across a creek. The Amber guy says this is kind of cool seeing the Toronto suburbs. It's nice to change things up. A little serene view of nature. That's the shopping mall just up there. Lisa says, am I punishing myself for something wandering in suburbia and I haven't died of boredom? I've got my camera on and an audience of friendly people to listen to my musings. No exit. It's a nice picturesque house. But if you're just tuning in, we are one city west of Toronto in Mississauga, a population 717,000. It's also the city where I grew up. 
I grew up south of here, mostly in like the Clarkson, Lauren Park, Port Credit area. That was also east of here. On Dundas. Wow, look at that home. There's a lady walking behind me. I don't want her to think I'm gawking at someone's property, but that is gorgeous. You know what? I'll let her pass me. Oops. And we'll take another few. Let's head over here just for a second. What is this? No trespassing. Should I do it? Breaking the law. Curtis Fair says Port Credit is a nice walk. Lisa grew up next to and beside the large fields on a highway where the speed limit was 80. Oh, that's Hydro One. Knowing my luck, I'll trespass and the cops will come. I feel like doing a little trespassing. Uh-oh. These pesky live streamers always getting up to no good. Causing all kinds of kinds of trouble. Breaking the law. Hey look, more no trespassing. But we don't even have to hop a fence to do it. This was the home I wanted to get a glimpse of. It looks like it's pretty vacant. You love my version of trespassing? Yeah, I'm no Johnny Somali. I'm like Logan Paul now. All right. Wow, there is, there's really not a whole lot over here. Let me just see where I am. This sign says Sheridan Trail, go left. Let's do a little more. Suburbia strolling. Quality infrastructure when you don't have sidewalks. This painted line will surely keep me safe. Gorgeous home zone. I think these ones might back onto a ravine on the right. Ooh, look at this one. Downtown Oakville is kind of cute. I've done a video through downtown Oakville. I guess this beats walking along a strode. Luan says it's getting dark in Montreal. It's getting dark here. Good evening, Jeanette. Thank you for your support in the last few streams, Jeanette. Hope you and the grandbabies are having a good time. Oh, let me fix the angle on the camera.
good trees though. It feels like an entirely different world. This isn't like new suburbia. This area is quite old, although this monster of a home here is fairly new. Marcus Anthony says it's currently 1.50 a.m. in Florence, Italy. Quickly dude says I should do a video of my old neighborhood. Well, I kind of live streamed through there a few years ago when I came up to Clarkson Go. And I live streamed along Lakeshore. One sec. All right, we're gonna veer over towards the main road. The first chance I get. Ooh, look at this. It's a very cute bungalow. That's brand new. Let's take another look at Google Maps here. Oh, the very exclusive Mississauga Road is just off to the right here. That's a very, very wealthy area. It's also near where, or just north of here in the University of Toronto's Mississauga campuses, and I think they use that in the recording of Gen V, the Amazon Prime series that season two is on hiatus due to a tragedy involving one of the actors. They're all ready to start filming that a few weeks ago. homes with these pillars in front. Rohan asking who remembers the solar eclipse. That was just yesterday, eh? I guess it's not dark enough for the street lights to go on. I like that house. I didn't realize how close we were to Mississauga Road. I should have went over there, but oh well. Sal Smith says my homes will never have pillars. Is that for cost reasons or taste reasons? Box Pro is here. Oh, it looks like there's 
a public walkway coming up on the left. Should we go see where that leads? I've kind of had enough of this. What do you guys say? Alfred likes the mix of different looking homes. That home is for sale. Oh, what? Can we see the number? I can't see the number on that. I was going to say someone can look it up. Where is this going to take us? Let me just look at maps here. This is going to... Oh well. This is going to take us this way, I guess. <laughs> Looks scary. Oh, yeah. The mean streets of Mississauga, eh? Camp says perfect starter home for me. Imagine if all my videos were just walking around this neighborhood. How to kill your YouTube channel in a hurry. I see Aaron Mills Parkway, I believe. Let's go over there. This is King Forest Drive. Thanks to all 400 of you for tuning in to watch a guy walk around a neighborhood he knows nothing about. Watch an urban-minded person walk around suburbia. You just failed your driving test, sir. You did not stop at that stop sign. Barry is under a tornado warning. There's a city I've yet to go to and record. We've got street lights. Lisa says there's some great street art in Barrie. Sure, there's some great street art in a lot of places. Maybe we'll take the GO train up there one day and do a Barrie video and stream. Seriously, Leslie, this is Airmills Parkway coming up. We are just south of Dundas Street West. Yes, that Dundas Street. I don't know, Lisa. 
probably in like Port Credit or Streetsville. Mississauga does have some charming old timey downtown like areas. JJ is here. He says, hey gang, it's been a bit. Greg says a Brampton walk would be cool. Yeah, I need to get back up there. And the video I did in Brampton did quite well. And the live stream I did after that, I ended up catching the GO train and I streamed all the way back to Mississauga and then in, or sorry, to Union Station. And I ran into the Ken Continuum. The sidewalk here is literally in a ditch. I'm just going to put my camera down. I'm getting messages here. One sec. You guys enjoy the Indy 500. Road cam. Well, it looks like we had some connection troubles here. Am I driving or taking transit to Mississauga? Someone deal with the Jesus freak? Jesus is coming back soon. Repent. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a ban hammer on that guy. Thank you, Vivian, for timing, timing them out, but you're free to have your opinions, beliefs, whatever they are, all you want. You can even talk about them mildly, but if you turn into a door-to-door -door salesman type character in the chat, off you go. throw my wallet on the road and run and pick it up. That will be so much fun. Jellybean says, what's my opinion on removing bots from the chat? Nightbot is very welcome to stay and chill in the chat. So the pyramid-shaped police station is up north, I'm just up ahead here. Alex says, take a go train, it looks like a storm is coming. A Corvette just raced by. JJ used to work in Saga and you rode your bike to work there from Toronto every day. What if you're commuting from like Cothra to Long Branch? That's not very long. Interesting, Maple. They totally ruined this police station up here, by the way. It used to be this really cool pyramid type building. Now it's kind of lame. They tacked on some square buildings to it. Boo to the police. So there's two shopping malls up ahead. One, South Common Mall. I think they changed its name. We used to go there for cheap movies. And north of that is Aaron Mills Town Center. Not 
much of a good sunset. Yes, we are all impressed by your Acura's ability to fart as it drives. Surely that will net you all the chicks. Everybody through says a pyramid like <laughs> the Luxor in Vegas. Not quite. You can see it. What they've built around it. Oh, I think Arendale Secondary School is just up here on the right. I think there's some people that went there. Double pedestrian signs, a big sign that says stop for pedestrians. Should I risk getting smushed? Hey, they've got the Dutch style yield signs on the pavement. Someone's gonna be like, well, those are also our style yield signs. Hello, Strode. So you don't get to cross if you don't press the beg buttons. Saga World Boss says their old neighborhood. Nancy Matt is five bucks. Why are there speed demons? And devils everywhere I go in Johnny Strides. I'm just a speed demon magnet. Can can be the dingus magnet. But thank you so much, <laughs> Nancy, for the fiver. Much appreciated. I think just east of here, there used to be a St. Hubert's, or St. Hubert, as me and my friends used to call it. And that turned into a Japanese and Korean barbecue restaurant called Miga. And I think it's still there. We're not gonna make it that far out. Are we? my maps out here. Yeah, South Common Mall is too far away. Niga Korean barbecue. Oh, that's a kilometer away. I can't go that far away from here. I gotta press the beg button again. Maybe we'll go say hi to the police. Whatever, move back to my old stomping grounds? Depends which old stomping grounds. Korea? Maybe. Hello, police. I want, would like to report some people who have been copying my YouTube channel. Is there anything you can do about it? No, no, I'll let that person go. Nice driver stopping for me. All right. Apparently, I have been given a time to go to the restaurant. I'm just gonna put my camera down here and figure 
this out for a sec. So if I walk to Miga, that's a 17 minute walk. That would put me at 8.37. And then what would happen if I wanted to go back to 1900 Dundas Street West? Tr total trip, 40 minutes. And what if instead of Miga, I went to South Common? No. Okay, we're gonna go along Dundas a little bit. To Ken from the Ken Continuum. I think we'll be wrapping up around 8.30 to 8.40. Claudia is here. I think Claudia. Oh, hello. <laughs> we just got sniped by people in a Jeep. I think, was that Claudia? I was about to say, I think Claudia hails from Mississauga A. The fact that I chose to hang out at that intersection probably threw those people for a loop. Do you think there's someone watching me on security camera right now? Whoa, I probably shouldn't go beyond this fence. That is a police car parking lot. Should go steal one of those puppies and go for a little joyride. Hey, there's the Jeep that sniped me. We're going to turn left pretty soon. Hello? <laughs> What's he doing walking about our city, eh? Man, they ruined that police station. It used to be kind of cool. just gonna go check out this plaza up here because I don't know what else there is to do. Tire, brake, exhaust, need no appointment. You guys ready to get a taste of a suburban mall, strip mall? There's Ethan Allen. Why haven't they flipped on the street lights yet? Tasco, the appliance professional since 1954. I love how pedestrian friendly the entrance to this plaza is. Got a car, no problem. On foot, fuck you.
All right, the art zone. You know what? I had a girlfriend in high school who worked at a store called Woodcraft and they were like a custom furniture store. And we would come here. I would drive up here and wait for her to get off work. And this is giving me all kinds of flashbacks. I'm pretty sure it's this plaza. Everett Clendenin, 10 bucks. Thanks for the walk, Johnny. Seeing areas I would never otherwise see. You got that right, Everett. Thank you <laughs> so much for the tenor. This might be the first time anyone's ever live streamed. This little slice of suburbia. But, Oop. But, 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 but. Holy crap. I used to go hang out in this store. And test out their Tempur-Pedics. Not, get your head out of the gutter. But this place used to do kind of like bespoke furniture. Like you'd come in and you'd choose one of these models and then they would start modifying it for you and they would price you out on getting it custom done and then you'd come pick it up and you'd yell and complain at them for doing it wrong but apparently that was just the kind of person that would shop here is the kind of annoying person who would complain. Apparently they do excellent work and this is all super high quality stuff. The store has barely changed. And when I bought my first mattress out of, after I got my first real job, I bought a Tempur-Pedic mattress. That thing was stupidly expensive. Johnny Stride's origin stories. And we used to go to the Miga up the street when it was a Saint Hubert. Etobicoke Motors. Now where in the hell do you think we are? Hot tub showroom. things suburbanites do for fun. Actually, that would be dope as hell. I'm in a hot tub. No thanks on the hot tub maintenance. Skyward family practice. Female doctors accepting new pain. Is that a thing? I don't know if I've ever seen that. I guess it makes sense. Some people might be more comfortable. I never really thought of that, but. Play Days Child Care Center. I thought I read that as Play Dates. Like, ooh, little kitties going for some afternoon delights with each other in the ballroom. Having harmless fun. Let me backpedal out of that one. Tyler Jordan says, read my message high. Hello? <laughs> Is that it? Fun fact, I miss most of the messages that are sent. Lisa says, eek, yeah, I caught myself. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten to another kind of interesting stretch.
Rosanna Ronnie and Barbecue. There's the Trek bikes. But I might have to turn around here. Let me see. I'm supposed to be at a certain place at a certain time. That time is... Do, do, do. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right, Ken Continuum, if you're watching, set your premiere to 845. We're going to turn around at these lights and start heading back. Jay Easy says call an Uber. The Big Bull is here on the left side. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming up on the left, but sadly, I'm gonna have to turn around and get my ass back in the other direction. There's a place called Eat Meat. Barbecue smoking meats. back along the other side of the street. We almost made it to the Miga Korean and Japanese barbecue. Am I wearing reflective clothing? There's like reflective strips. I do have some flashing lights which I put on my backpack when I ride my bike. In fact, those came courtesy of Vivian Johnson. She once sent a super chat to go towards those. We're about to spin around here. So that's crossing the... Oh, I pressed it for the wrong way. Do, 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 do. So from here into where I am going, their location to there will take 19 minutes. I'm supposed to be there at 8.40. So we're gonna hightail it. Here's the question. Will these cars get an advanced green before the pedestrian? Suburban strodes are never pedestrian friendly. Do, 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 do. Am I taking the GO train back afterwards? No, I am taking a Lyft or Uber. Oh, look at that guy. He's just crossing. He is just going for it. A little suburban stud. Do I even have you on the camera? It's all good in 20 seconds. We can walk. No, we're gonna be taking a Lyft or Uber, but the good news is I ain't paying. Chances I have a hot date tonight. Yeah, I have a hot date with 
a car back to Kipling Station and then a long ride on the subway. I just thought it would be fun to come out here for some reason. Faux Big Bowl. Pay today loans. Please do yourself a favor and exhaust every option you have and then still never go to one of those predatory loan places. But we've got a pretty wicked sky tonight. Amy says start jogging, Jellybean says Kipling bleh. Hey, we're going to Etobicoke. Yeah, my friend had a work event. And everything was paid for except my dinner. I wasn't invited, but... I was invited into the lift. So where was Expert Smidus? Does Uber cost more in Toronto, asks Nancy. That's a good question. I don't know. Lyft was the cheaper of the two options from Kipling. It was like four bucks cheaper from Kipling Station to this area. It was like 30 something from Uber and 26 something on Lyft. Until the sun set over on that side. Way, way off in the distance. I don't know if the zoom is going to get it, but you can see like the Mississauga City Center skyline. Way over there somewhere. Is the camera picking it up? I think it's in the center of the shot right now. There's Play Days Child Care Center. I'll refrain from almost making an inappropriate joke. David asking, where am I now? We are going east on Dundas Street. In glorious Mississauga. is certainly one of my more peculiar streams. It's also my fourth stream in three days. I went live Sunday afternoon and I went live Sunday night on the Johnny Stumbles channel. Then I went live for the eclipse yesterday. Now here we are again live. Which sidewalk do I choose? The safe but boring sidewalk? Or the dangerous sidewalk? Let's live a little. Jet says, when you used to live in the suburbs in Houston, it was difficult to get a ride share. I think Mississauga is very built up, or at least it's very dense. And a lot of my rideshare drivers in Toronto actually are from this area. Whenever there's small talk, that's just one of my pointless questions. We got someone U-turning right where I am. Make sure they don't hit the curb. <laughs> you go, truck man. You floor it.
I was kind of in the worst possible spot <laughs> for that. There's a plane going overhead. Lisa says they're out for me. All right, so the stream will be wrapping up by 8.45. Christ our King Lutheran Church. Cam is going to square one on Friday. Square one is off in the distance, or yeah, in the direction that the camera is pointing. I will have a video on the channel tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. EST. Or maybe I'll do a morning live stream, who knows. But I do have a walk around opening day of the Blue Jays all queued up and ready to go. I have a night walk as well. And this really bizarre Mississauga walk I recorded today. I'm thinking tomorrow might be a day to get out on the scooter and or e-bike. Pitch says tomorrow he'll be so tired and exhausted. Jelly Bean used to go to the movie theater across from Square One. Are you referring to the Sussex Center? Or are you referring to the famous Players Coliseum, which later became a Cineplex? those chains collided. I saw Roger Rabbit at the Sussex Center. Johnny M says a big hello to everyone in the chat from Hamilton. A big hello to you Johnny M all the way in the hammer. I hope you got to enjoy the eclipse. Apparently Burlington was a great spot. Clouds all cleared up right before totality. JD asking what e-bike did I keep? I still have the ad motor. I'm gonna get rid of that. And I have the Move-In. The Move-In is my preferred e-bike. And there's a company that wants to send me, well, there's like a million companies, but there's one that doesn't want to send me a cheap Chinese piece of crap that will catch on fire. In other words, they're an actual reputable brand that wants to work with me, so I might take an e-bike from them. And you'll know which one I like better based on which one I use in videos. And there's an e-scooter company. They want to send me like this heavy-duty off-roading e-scooter. It is wild and doesn't look like anything I use. But it's also worth like 2,500 bucks. So it's one of those like, I'd be dumb not to kind of things. And we're at Air Mills Parkway. And hey, look, a pedestrian. Hello there, pedestrian. South of here is the old Sheridan Mall. Julie watched <laughs> the eclipse from a Canadian tire parking lot downtown. Hey, I think we had it better in Toronto than they did in Niagara Falls.
let this first car go. I'll wave at them. I was not expecting them to stop. I always err on the side of caution in parts unknown. But hey, a Tesla driver who yielded to a pedestrian and used his turn signal. If the sky weren't so dark, we'd be see, seeing flying pigs all over the place. Gorgeous nighttime sky though. Bunny says, where are we? We are getting dangerously close to being late to where I'm supposed to be. Covered bus stops. But I do want to thank everyone who tuned in tonight. I want to thank our mods. We're not ending it. I'm just thanking everyone. Thought Broker says there's always breaking at random times of the highway. I believe that's the Brampton special. In the north, what is that flashing light? I don't know what this is you speak of. Hey, closed Dundas Street at Aaron Mills, Sunday, April 28th, 2024, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. for the Mississauga Marathon. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-A-U-G-A, M-A-R-A-T-H-O-N. That second part should have came out a little smoother than that. What do we have here? New patients welcome. You can continue to chat right after the stream over on the Ken Continuum channel. He's having a video premiere. Ken moved his premiere over just to be out of the way of this one. As we know, there's a fair number of viewers that watched both of our channels. So thank you for that, Ken. There's a fire hall across the street. Lisa says, I seem tripper today. Well, you would be too if you got to walk around suburbia. Strip malls. Neighborhoods of home after home after home. Chosen from cookie cutters with a large variety of shapes. I am very near, almost there. It's the Crepe Festival. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The Ken Continuum says, what this all be a boot strides? Strodes in suburbia? Yeah, something like that. But now it all be a boot me saying, Goodbye, farewell, adios, arrivederci, sayonara, get bent. Well, maybe not the last one, but we have come to the end of the stream. I want to express a big thank you to everyone who tuned in. Big thanks to our mods for their solid work. And again, huge thanks to the mods for yesterday's stream. That was actual insanity. I want to thank my parents for having me. 
the directors, the producers, but all the viewers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified. I go live typically three, four times a week. I'm being told, where the hell are you? So I need to go, but the Ken Continuum is having a premiere over on his channel, so you can hang out over there. All right. See you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. EST. If I don't have a video premiere, and that's because I'm doing something crazy and going live for the fifth time in four days. Oh, and thanks to those who sent support as well. All right, have a good night, guys. Yoink.